Hello, hello, grade 12s. Welcome back to the channel, Science Therapy, hosted by the one and only science therapist, who Abudiwa Sos Ugobela Wemet. And without any further ado, let's look at these questions that we have here. Okay, so we have question six. It says in, in 6.1, Ellie bought a laptop four years ago. The value of the laptop depreciates from 9,670 on a reducing balance method to its current value of 5,509.70. Calculate the annual rate of depreciation of the laptop. Right. So reducing balance method, we already know the formula. A is equals to P, bracket 1, minus I to the exponent of N. Right. So for our accumulated value, we're going to put the current value of the laptop after depreciation, which is 5,509.70. Then for the principal amount, uh, we put the value of the laptop de before depreciation. Then we have 1 minus I, and then our N is 4. Right. Remember, depreciation is on an annual basis. Hence, we are even calculating the annual rate. Now, at, at this stage, we need to divide both sides by 9,670, just like that. And then punching this here, we have our value of 0 0.5698. So just allow me to round off to four decimal places. And then now to get rid of the exponent 4, I have to uh, root both sides by 4. So root 4, both sides. And then uh, punching that into my calculator, I get 0 0.8688, again, rounding off to four decimal places, then 1 minus i. Remember, uh, to get rid of the exponent 4, I had to do that. Then, to calculate i, let me just take the i, transpose it to the left-hand side. It becomes positive. Leave the 1 here, but then take this decimal here, transpose it over to the right-hand side. So 8688. Now, punching that into my calculator, I have 0 0.1312, and then which I'm going to multiply by 100. Then the R, remember, uh, after I've multiplied by 100, that's no longer I, it's now R. So R is equals to 13.12%. So that's your annual depreciation rate of the laptop. That's how you were supposed to calculate that for only three marks, right? Now, 6.2 says, Master Duda decided to save money. To do what? Save money, right? Towards his son's tertiary education as follows. Now, we know saving money for uh, your son's tertiary education, that's something, uh, that's future planning, right? So he's planning for the future. Now, we already know that whatever that we're going to do here, we have to apply the future value formula. Now, point number one says he paid 600 per month into an account that paid 8.7% interest per annum compounded monthly. Second point says his first payment was at the end of January, in which his son started grade one, and the last payment at the end of December, when his son completed his grade 12. His son did not repeat any grade, so meaning that it was exactly of years the investment was for exactly 12 years he withdrew all his savings one month after his last payment so that means he left uh, the investment there after the investment period for a period of one month so he did not uh, withdraw the investment immediately after making the last payment but then he left uh, the investment there or the accumulated amount uh, for a further one month right before withdrawing so now to calculate that, we will start with our future value here, which is x1 uh, plus i to the exponent of n minus 1 over i. Now the monthly installments, we were told 600, and then 1 plus the interest, 8.7%, which we need to divide by 100 to get 0 0.087. Then it's compounded monthly, so it's over 12 then uh, the number of payments that will be made for exactly the 12 years 
uh, will be 12 multiplied by 12. So the 12 multiplied by 12 comes from knowing that one year has 12 months. So how many months are in 12 years? That's 144 months. So that means it will be making 144 payments of the 600 here. So 144 minus 1, and then just like that, over 0 0.087 over 12. Now, all you have to do at this point is just simply take um shinwa kowei balo and just press this right so that's 1000 uh, i mean 151438.20 zuma okay so from here we need to also note the fact that uh, he did not withdraw the money immediately after making the last payment but the money was left uh, for a further one month so what does that mean it means that the money will accumulate interest for the one month that it was left into that investment account so now the 151,438.20 has to be grown for a month here at the same interest rate so over 12 and then that happens for only a month and then now let's see the money that he actually withdraws if he has to withdraw one month after his last payment then punching that into our calculator we have 152,536.13 rounded off to two decimal places right and that's how you were expected to calculate that so it was very crucial for you to note this last statement here so your this was not the final answer you also needed to consider that you have to grow that future value for a period of one month because it was left there okay now i hope uh, that makes sense 6.3 says a uh, pilisa takes out a loan to buy a car that cost 350,000. The bank offers her an interest rate of 9.3% per annum, compounded monthly, and a payment period of six years. Her first installment is due at the end of the first month after taking the loan. Right, so we already know that uh, you pay the loan uh, in just one month after you have taken the loan. Then 6.3.1 says calculate Pilisa's monthly installment. Now, this is a loan, of course. So we know uh, when we are dealing with loans, we use the present value formula. So PV is equals to X, 1 minus 1 plus I to the exponent of negative N, and then all that over I. So our present value, that's the value of the loan, uh, that it takes out so 350,000 to buy the car and then uh, the monthly installments that's what we are trying to calculate so we don't have the x amount in there then we have one plus uh, the 9.3 percent divide that by 100 it will be 0 0.093 compounded monthly so over 12 and then uh, for a period of six years again we must convert our six years in terms of months so that six multiplied by 12 this is going to give us a total of 72 months but then let's not forget that every time we substitute in here we must not forget this negative here so negative 72 and then just like that over our interest of 0 0.093 over 12 right so always note that it has to go with that now to calculate the x we've already uh, discussed this we said you cross multiply this and then divide by the whole of that so let's do it it's going to be x is equals to 350,000 multiplied by the 0 0.093 over 12 so i just cross multiply this with that then all that's in here i'm just going to bring it down here to be the denominator right so it's as simple as that to calculate your your x amount in there and then all you have to do grab um balo and then just punch it there and let's uh, find out the value so having to punch in our calculator we get six thousand three hundred and sixty one point one eight and that's uh, the monthly installments that Pilisa makes uh, in paying out the loan. Okay, uh, let's proceed. We have 6.3.2 says calculate the balance of her loan after the 40th payment was made. So here we are talking about what the outstanding balance, right? 
the outstanding balance. Now, uh, the method that I prefer, I know that some of you or maybe at school you are being taught uh, that to calculate the outstanding balance, you need to have the accumulated amount uh, minus uh, the future value. I do not really vouch for that formula. The one that I like the most is this straightforward formula whereby you just use your present value. So we will say present value is equals to x, 1 minus 1 plus i to the exponent of negative n. So I still want to maintain that whenever uh, this is a loan, I just have to stick with my present value. But the note here, we want the outstanding balance after the 40th payment was made. In total, how many payments are made? Uh, we have a total of 6 times 12. We said it's 72. Right. So now if we want the outstanding balance, that means first of all, if we have to apply the, this formula, we have to know the outstanding uh, payments uh, after the 40th payment has been made. So we need to get the outstanding payments after the 40 payments and the first 40 payments have been made. So how are we going to get that? We're just going to say 72 minus 40. And then we get 32. Now this is the value that we are going to use for our n here. So note with this formula, we're not going to use the 40 here. But first, we have to calculate the outstanding payments. So the payments that are left after he has paid the 40 payments. Right. So I hope that makes sense. In total, we had 72. So if we say 72 minus 40, we get that he's now left with 32 payments to make. So again, we just calculate here. The X amounts, remember in the previous question we calculated, it's a uh, 6,361.18. And then we have 1 minus 1 plus the interest still 0 0.093 over 12. Then at this point, remember, I'm not using 40, I'm using the 32. The 32 representing uh, the outstanding payments after the 40 payments have been made. Then 0 0.093 over 12. Now you have to punch this in umshinwe ibalo and then you have 17,667.32 which would which would be exactly the same even if you used uh, that formula there. Right, so this one is just straightforward guys. I hope a lot of you just get to understand this formula because it will save you a lot of time and trouble. Um, all you just have to remember is that whatever a uh, month or number of payments that they give you, you have to subtract it from the total uh, number of payments. And that's it. Okay, so just like that, you have your three marks. Let's proceed to 6.3.3. It says, Pilisa decides to increase her monthly installment to 7,000 per month after her 40th payment. How long after the 40th payment will it take her to pay up the loan, right? So now we want to find out that if she decides uh, to just increase her monthly installments, then obviously we do understand if she increases her monthly installments, then uh, the number of or the number of months that it will take her to pay off the loan will obviously decrease, right? So that's what she's trying to do. She's trying to pay off the loan much quicker, right? So uh, that's 6.3.3. Now we want to find out how many months we did actually take it to pay off the loan. So that's 1 minus 1 plus i to the exponent of negative n and then over i, right? So uh, our present value, remember, after the 40th payment has been made, the present value or the outstanding balance is 17,667.8. Three two is the value that we calculated in the previous question here, right? So note it's after the 40th payment has been made. Then our x amount now has changed to seven thousand, right? And then one minus one plus zero point zero nine three. The interest rate has not changed, and then we are looking for the n, right? The number of months. So zero point zero nine three over 12. Now at this point, all we have to do is uh, cross multiply here. So the first thing, but the first thing that we have to do, uh, let's follow due procedure. We have to first divide by 7,000 both sides. Remember the trick that I, told, uh, I taught you. First divide by the number that will be here. So if we divide by 7,000 both sides, 
so even this side i do not have much space but then a uh, note that uh, even this side i have to divide by the seven thousand which will end up canceling that seven thousand now if i say seventeen thousand six hundred and sixty seven point three two divided by seven thousand i get a uh, twenty five point six 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 eight rounding off to two decimal places then immediately i want to cross multiply that answer that i get here with this denominator here so allow me to just immediately cross multiply like that over 12 then uh, here i'm only left with the that on the bracket over 12 to the exponent of negative n so you are trying to be as neat as possible when you do this then uh, let's take this here and transpose it over to the left hand side so we have 1 plus 0 0.093 over 12 to the exponent of negative n so i have left the one here so i will say 1 minus take this one over here 25.6668 and then 0 0.093 over 12 right now all you have to do is punch this into your calculator um shinwe ibalo 1.0078 to the exponent of negative n then punch all of this as well 0 0.8011 so i'm just uh, mainly rounding off my answers to like four decimal places right so uh for my logs i will say negative n log uh, base is 1.07 is 1.0078 and then here i have 0 0.8011 so uh note that my answers might be slightly different from the ones on the memo because of the rounding off but then uh the the conclusion will obviously be the same so here I have negative 28.54, right? If I divide both sides by negative, then my N is just positive 28.54. But then remember, uh, what we are actually looking for is the number of payments that will be made. Obviously, from here, we understand that the 28 represents the full uh, payments, the full payments that will be made, the full payments of 7,000. And then uh, for the last payment, it will not be the full payment but then it will also be counted as a payment right so it falls in the next month so in conclusion we can say that the number of months that it will pay off are approximately uh, 29 months so it will take her uh, approximately 29 months uh, to cover the loan after the 40th payment has been made right so that's it note that uh, in the previous question we had actually calculated that the remaining number of months were 32 but now if he decides to increase the month installments to 7000 he's now able to uh, finish off paying the loan in just 29 months after the 40th payment has been made so in total the number of months uh, that he will have to pay off the loan is the 40 uh, plus the 29 which will be 69 months right as opposed to 72 months so it's just he's just like saving up on three months but then it's a lot if you come to think about it so okay that's it guys uh, that's how you were supposed to go about answering this question so with all that being said guys please press the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed the lesson and then you found it helpful and if you've been watching the videos and haven't subscribed yet please 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 hit that subscribe button but most importantly Please share the link with your friends and classmates so that they may also find assistance. Remember, do not be selfish. We are winning as a team.